Well, live now to Exeter, the contenders to become the next Conservative Party leader and Prime Minister are facing party members there, the second of 12 hustings which are taking place over the next month before the 5th of September. Uh, and we believe that Penny Mordaunt is introducing Liz Truss. Here she is. Of course, she was uh, knocked out in the fifth round trying to be a party leader herself. Let's hear what she's got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, the feeling is entirely mutual. Thank you so much for being here tonight. The fact that so many of you are is testament to how every single one of you cares deeply about the task that's been afforded to us. This isn't just about one person. It's about all of us. And I know it's not easy. You feel a huge responsibility. I do too. That is the price, I'm afraid, of democracy. If we get this decision wrong, we'll shortchange the country. We may lose an election. And everything that we have worked for will be gone. That's why this matters so much. Why you feel that responsibility and why I do too and why I am here with you this evening. I could have remained undeclared. I could be off sipping pina coladas right now, but I'm not. I'm here with you because this, this is too important. And I'm, I'm not going to leave this to chance. And nor will you. I came third in this contest. And I owe it to all of you to be a signpost, not a weather vane. And so I've made my choice. And I know it's difficult, because I like both candidates. They are both good conservatives who love their country. And they've both done what they thought was right for the right reasons. I want to say nice things about both of them, which is probably why I came third. <laughs> I know that choosing between them is hard. But this contest is a test, a test that precedes an even greater test. So who can lead? Who can build that team and deliver for our country? Who does have that bold economic plan that our nation needs? Who's got reach? Who can relate to people? Who understands that people need help with the cost of living now? And who is going to rightly clobber our opponents? Who is going to hold seats and win back councils? And who most embodies the vision and values the British public had in their heads and their hearts when they voted in 2016 and 2019? At the start of this final phase of the contest, I didn't know the answer to those questions, but I've seen enough to know who the person I'm going to put my faith in is, and that is Liz Truss. Yeah. Her graft, her authenticity, her determination, her ambition for this country, her consistency and sense of duty. She knows what she believes in. And her resolve to stand up against tyranny and fight for freedom. That's what our country stands for. And that's why I know with her, we can win. And actually, seeing her over the last few weeks has made me want to help her, to help her win, to help build the team we need to win the country, and to give ourselves as a party and as a nation the pride and the confidence we need to reach our full potential. 
In short, folks, to give us all hope. She, for me, is the hope candidate. And that is why I am here tonight, to be straight with all of you and to tell you that my choice in this contest to lead us and our nation is Liz Truss. Thank you.